Hi, my name is Terry, and today we're going to explore a connection between bird flight patterns and music. We see birds all around us, but have you ever noticed that birds have different ways of moving through the air? Today we're going to explore five different bird flight patterns, and then we will hear musical examples that move in the same way as these birds. Our first flight pattern is flap and glide. In this musical example, we will hear the flapping motion of the bird's wings shown in the melody that quickly moves between two notes that are close together. And the glides, when the bird's wings are extended, will be shown in melody notes that are sustained. Let's watch and listen to the flap and glide flight pattern. Our next flight pattern is very similar to the flap and glide pattern. It's called undulating flight. Notice how the glides no longer move straight across in line with the flapping. Instead, the bird creates a little rise during the glide. The music will also imitate this glide motion with melody notes that rise up higher from the flapping notes. Let's watch and listen to the undulating flight pattern. Direct flight is our third flight pattern. This is a steady and continuous flapping motion that is not interrupted by frequent glides. Here we can see the steady flapping motion. Let's watch and listen to the direct flight pattern. While the last flight pattern had many flaps, our next flight pattern has a lot of glides. In static soaring, the bird will glide in circular or spiral shapes, often rising higher in the air. The warm and fast-moving air will help the bird to continue its spiral gliding motion as it ascends in the sky. Our melody will also spiral, circling around and around while moving to higher notes. Let's watch and listen to static soaring. Our final flight pattern is moth-like flight. When birds are flying around the sky and chasing insects to eat, their flight pattern looks very erratic with sudden changes in direction. Our melody will also show quick changes in direction and sudden variation between faster and slower rhythms that start and stop. Let's watch and listen to moth-like flight. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit the New Bedford Symphony Orchestra website to learn more about bird flight patterns and music.